Do you mean? Here's the story about me. Wait, it's a song about me that you titled for somebody else's name. Yeah, it's a song in your honor. It's not about you. Oh, gotcha. Okay, go ahead. Um, basically, it's about the fact that someone uh, who didn't think Josh should have won the CD complained on Twitter and in City Beat, and then I wrote a song about it. Talking shit about them. That's right. Mm. <laughs> that felt good, though. And the quote in City Beat goes something like this. And I'm now convinced that the San Diego Music Academy voters are smoking the same shit as Slightly Stupid. How else can you explain Josh Domingo's win for his album Raw? The album should have been called Overcooked and Served with a Side of Cheese. <laughs> yeah, laugh it up. It's no, kind like of my my like band. the opposite of Raw. My band laughed at that. They think I suck. Seth Combs, Let's City see. Beat, I think September 15th, 2009. Yeah. Nobody really reads that. <laughs> When I read what you wrote, I thought it was cute. In fact, I even said, aww. So clever the way that you played on the words of Josh's award-winning album, Raw. If you add an R to the end of Raw, it's like, Raw. You said it should have been called Overcooked and Served with a Side of Cheese. Well, I think it's safe to say that you probably overlooked tracks six and seven featuring Rob D's. So the last two songs we just did. When it comes to talking shit, I'm a pro. I do it all the time, I'm a real asshole. It's true. But I don't talk shit to be mean. We ain't in high school and I ain't a damn chain. I'm just in it for the laugh. That's why I'm on stage and not behind your back. Should I write it, record it, and put it on a track? Better yet, play it live and wait for you to react. Chances are you're probably gonna like it. Cause there's something kinda dope about the way that I recite it. But homie, don't be excited. Someone tried to warn me not to write this, but I, I did. did. Why? Cause you dissed the homie. Oh, well, that just ain't cool. No. And if you're gonna diss the homie, well, then I'm gonna diss you. Now, you're entitled to your own opinion. I respect that. Keep speaking your mind and let the record show that I ain't overreacting. I'm just rapping in my spare time. But... The ghost, the ghost of Seth Combs. <laughs> plug your ears real quick. Real quick. It's a game that we play. It's called Plug Your Ears. Ready? Go. This is Seth Combs' fault. Just think about that next time you read the reader. Rob, you're so far away from that stinking hole. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> and it was a stinking hole indeed. <laughs> Where was I at with the last? Yeah, something about Seth Combs. <laughs> um, something about Seth Combs. Seth Combs. Yo, something about Seth Combs. And then the talking Yo, shit. something about I'm, Seth Combs. I'm just rapping in my spare time. But maybe by the time I'm done, the people might possibly know that City Beats' own Seth Combs is secretly in love with Josh D'Amigo. Well, there's a theory. I said that if, if you, you want to talk shit, that's fine, fine, but, but, but you better get in line. Since you can't diss the homie for free, if anyone's gonna talk shit, it's gonna be me. If you, you want to talk, that's fine, fine, but you, but you, but you better get in line. Since you can't diss the homie for free, if anyone's gonna talk shit, it's gonna be me. Now it all started at the 2009 SDMAs. Josh D'Amigo, the homie, won Best Local Recording, and well, the kid was amazed. But you, Seth Combs, you were drunk that night. The Jack Daniels had made you bitter. bitter. So you hopped on your mobile device and you started talking shit on Twitter. Now, first of all, I got to give you props because you were talking shit on Twitter. That's right. But at Combs, Seth, don't hate on at Josh D'Amigo just because he is a big winner. No, right. I'm at Robert D's. I might be obnoxious turning talking trash into a trending topic. That's what you did. This is just the feedback. And trust me, Seth. I will retweet that I thought Twitter was the end of it But it turns out I was wrong I guess you also like to talk shit in City Beat Well, I like to talk shit in songs And my songs get around I got seven hits on MySpace just the other sure, day I checked it. So I'm a lyrical man whore And talking shit is my dance, dance floor So if you don't want to tango You might want to watch what you say Clever. Okay. I like that. That's my favorite part. Listen to if, if you, you want to talk shit, that's fine. Fine, but you, but you better get in line. Since you can't diss the homie for free. If anyone's going to talk shit, it's going to be me. If you want to talk shit, that's fine. Fine, but you, but you, but you better get in line. Since you can't diss the homie for free. If anyone's going to talk shit, it's going to be these. Yeah. If anyone's gonna talk shit, it's gonna be Deans. I mean, you guys yeah. know more than please talk yeah. shit. They know. I, I suggest it. They know. It's like a That's stress relief tool. They wanna know. They wanna know the shit that Deans is talking. 
Now I know you gotta act like you don't like Josh's music because it wouldn't seem right. No. Who's he texting? I'm twitching you. Seth Collins. <laughs> Even though you go to bed with the songs in your head. Like, I don't wanna fall asleep tonight. And I wish I could be with you tonight. I thought I lost you once. Then I'm all alone. I don't know my song. Dun 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 dun. Still at home. Yeah, thank you. I don't want to open my eyes. <laughs> anyway, you know that song way too. The simple well. fact that you talk trash wasn't the basis for my inspiration. It's the fact that you talk trash in such a well-distributed publication. That's not very nice. You're gonna diss my boy Josh Amigo by using a city beat? Well, then I'ma diss you in on your ego by using a shitty beat. Same thing. Now, there's a handful of artists that I'll call friends that I'd be more than happy to defend from shit-talking critics that think that they know a thing or two about music because they go to shows. The next time you want to diss a CD, you might want to make sure that it don't feature me because I'm a sensitive guy and I guarantee that I will think that shit personally. <laughs> now, I don't write for a magazine, I just play the occasional show. So it's gonna take some time for this song to get as much exposure as your article, so you're gonna have to bear with me, for I've only just begun. City Beat circulation is 50,000, so I'm aiming for 50,001. And just so you know, the reader did a piece on the song and their circulation is 170,000, so... Oh. So if, if you, you want to talk shit, that's fine, fine, but you, but you, but you better get in line Since you can't diss the homie for free If anyone's gonna talk shit, it's gonna be me If you, you want to talk shit, that's fine, fine, but you, but you, but you better get in line Since you can't diss me, amigo, for free If anyone's dissing to me, go, it's gonna be me Bet you wear tight pants. Mm -hmm. You probably smell like a hippie. He does. I don't know if you ride a bike, but if you do, it's probably a fixie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sincerely, Rob Ease. P.S. Yeah. Give me a one of you to know that he appreciates the press.